Hello and welcome. I would like to show you a new lock in my Eurocylinder exploration series. It's this icon lock. And it's not a size icon, but a set eye icon. And I believe it's one of their basic models. I already picked and gutted one side so that gutting becomes uh, easier afterwards. But before I uh, pick this lock, I would like to give you a very brief introduction uh, into the company history and explain why it's an icon and not a size icon. So let's have a quick look to this uh, very interesting uh, company. I created some slides that you can better understand what I'm telling you. It started in Germany when these three gentlemen ran a business together. They made uh, optical instruments for scientific purposes, mainly microscopes, and Ernst, Ernst Abbe, a physicist, was responsible for understanding the uh, physical effects, and Otto Schott, a chemist, was responsible for the chemical properties of the glass. After the death of Carl Zeiss, Ernst Abbe created a foundation and named it according to Carl Zeiss. So, 1889 was the start of the Carl Zeiss Foundation, and at that time they were known as makers of one of the finest optical instruments. Later on, in 1926, the Zeiss Icon company was built, and they also then made other optical instruments or products, for example cameras. Again later they started making locks. So this goes back to a patent filed by Linus Yale in the United States and he invented the first pin tumbler and his patent was from, 188, from, from 1861. And based on this invention the German guy Sylvester Wörle filed a patent in 1924 for this type of lock, the Eurospec cylinder, which was then transferred to the size icon uh, company. And the invention of this shape was actually made because of two reasons. First reason, it requires less material than the original rim cylinder, and this shape fits to existing uh, doors, so the doors did not have to be modified in order to be equipped with this type of lock. So from that point on um, the size icon uh, company also made locks and of course named them according to their company name size icon. But later on in 1989 the Carl Zeiss Foundation split the two company parts and uh, now we have two, so one is still named Size, and they are making optical instruments, while the other part, related to locks and security aspects, is, um, is named only Icon, so the name Size was not transferred to the uh, lock part, and in 1994 um, it is part of the worldwide acting ESA Eploy group. And both parts are making um, state-of-the-art uh, products um, and are known worldwide. So that's why we have locks with the name size icon on the front which were made before the split and we have locks of uh, uh, newer manufacturing date that are only named icon because they are created after the split and, as we now know, the name size was not transferred um, to the new part icon, which is now owned by Ezra Abloy. Alright, so much for the history. Now let's go back to our lock. Lock is clamped in a vise. That's the key. Nice deep cut at position 4, but not too crazy. Works and is locked up. I have to tell you that I had a pretty bad time opening it for the first time. I tried with light tension and yeah, wanted to find the true binding order but yeah, as I said, had a pretty hard time as the binding order constantly changed and 
It took me about one hour to figure out that it's uh, much easier with heavy tension. Heavy tension and I use a thick hook from Peterson. Uh, there is enough room uh, below this latch here and I can access the pins very easily. So heavy tension, start with one. Get the set. Two. Three. Four. And got a four set. Now I'm on two, I believe. And I'm not sure if I got it. Or if I overset it, I think I got it. I must have uh, popped up another pin. Let's see if I can find it. Most of the time it's something in the back. I release tension just a little bit to ease setting the pin. And I do believe that this lock has not too bad tolerances because setting the spool is actually the most challenging uh, part. No, I reset, try again. One, two, three, four. Now I try with a deeper hook. Maybe then it's easier. Ah, and open. All right. Now let's cut it. So here are the pins at a glance. All key pins are standard 1 through 5. The drivers are standard in 1 and 5 and spools in 2, 3 and 4. The uh, end of the drivers are flat, which is very good. And the overall appearance of the pins are is also very nice. Uh, look well made, nice and shiny. Springs look like made from copper and we have two uh, anti-drill rods which go in the two holes here in the, in the plug. So plug is fully equipped with uh, drill protection. Also the plug looks nice and uh, well made, round here, nothing, nothing flattened. But I think the biggest problem of this lock is the uh, very open keyway. Looks a little bit uh, weird with all these small edges, but for picking you have seen uh, it's not a big problem to insert the thick Peterson hook. If they would have made it more restricted so that uh, a thinner hook uh, was required, then I had to go with uh, less tension on the plug and would have been much more difficult because then, yeah less uh, pressure on the plug, um, less force to the pins. Um, I really had to fight with the uh, true binding order. I could not have uh, forced the pins like I did. So, let's still have a look in the uh, Bible for the sake of completeness. Nothing unexpected here. Everything's uh, smooth. Nothing special. Alright, so that was the set I icon lock oh, made by Icon as a I hope you 
found it uh, interesting. Yeah, thanks for watching. Happy picking. Bye-bye.